Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Trump just announced it. IT's opening. The embassy plan to open in Jerusalem just had a date change. It was reported that the embassy will now open in 2019, ahead of schedule, as was stated by Vice President Mike Pence. It was initially supposed to take several years to open an embassy in Jerusalem, but now they believe it will be open by the end of 2019. What was originally a three four year plan has now been effectively cut in half if all goes as planned. This is a great announcement by Trump and Pence. President Donald Trump and Mike Pence have faced scrutiny over the decision to open an embassy in Jerusalem. They faced some minor backlash over recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, but they also endured a lot of support in the decision that has been called controversial. During the address to the Israeli parliament, Mike Pence had to defend the decision because it's reportedly condemned by numerous Palestinians and some of their Arab associates. NY Daily News reports. Vice President Mike Pence says the United States will open its embassy in Jerusalem next year, ahead of schedule. In an address to the Israeli parliament on Monday, Pence defended the controversial decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, which has been condemned by the Palestinians and their Arab allies. Pence says the administration will advance its plan in the coming weeks and the embassy will open by the end of 2019. Previous estimates had been the move would take three or four years. The Palestinians claim Israeli annexed East Jerusalem as their capital. They say the U.S. cannot be a mediator after the decision and have preemptively rejected any peace plan presented by the Trump administration. Mike Benz faced hecklers from Arab lawmakers of the Israeli parliament at the start of his address. The hecklers were involved in a brief scuffle and then removed from the room so the vice president could continue speaking uninterrupted. The conflict was caught on camera and posted to YouTube by the Associated Press. The speech took place at the Knesset. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was present. He stood and gave a round of applause as the protesting lawmakers were forced out of the house. The troublemaking lawmakers were holding signs stating that Jerusalem was the capital of Palestine. Heretz provided further information. Minadet, the head of the joint list, Israel's Arab coalition party, called Pence a dangerous man with a messianic vision that includes the destruction of the entire region. After Tuesday's protest, Ade said the act was a strong and legitimate protest against the Trump Netanyahu regime, against an extreme right that glorifies racism and hate and speaks of peace as lip service but does anything in its power to further push away peace. Our protest today at the Knesset was done in the name of all citizens opposing the occupation and dreaming of peace. Mike Pence had called for peace with Israel and the Palestinians. Pence wanted people at the table talking, not disrupting the event and hindering progress. The vice president believes that dialogue is the key to creating a peaceful environment, but that discussion cannot happen when angry protesters cause chaos and ruin things like they always do. Pence was explicitly quoted as saying peace can only come through dialogue. The protesting lawmakers had a chance to be in a room with leadership and have their words heard through peaceful conversation. They refused to be calm and communicate with adults. Instead, they pushed their protest forward and rambled on like children.